Jeez. It's been two years you still haven't called, and I don't know if I should take that as a sign or something, or maybe I'm just going to call you back, you know. Or no, 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 you call me. No, I'll call you back. You got cheesecake? I like cheesecake. Yeah. Hmm. The fuck? <laughs> Whoa! What? I know I am a good looking mofo! Yeah, I don't mind if I have a... They should rename these instead of sweet tarts. Just call them Adam tarts. Or better yet, Addy tarts. Number 92. Baseball Kingston, a whole bunch of nothing. Why am I being mellow, you ask? Because things, my friends, are falling into place. Don't you hate when people do that to stuff? I do. I know I do. Really? Welcome to Baseball Kingston, a whole bunch of nothing, number 92. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. We're going to go over a lot of shit today, that's all. And, um, we'll play a video right now. I think I'm going to do a little bikini kill for my ex up in Canada, Aaron. Aaron, so if you watch this, this video is especially for you. It just, nothing bad, it's actually a kick-ass video. But it's just very you. It's your personality and it's like this video shows who you are. Rebel girl. So with that being said, enjoy the video. Aaron. Was it cut off by the
control. That's me, by the way. Yeah, baby. I played for 30 some years. That's not me, though. That's um, Matt Cameron from Soundgarden. At Soundgarden. Uh, live, my daughter's mother, Tracy, she got it for me for my birthday. I think it was my birthday. But I listen to it all the time. Um, try one. Three in a row. Or four in a row. Um, they look good again. Uh, but I'm not taking back what I said. The, uh, the, not the last episode, the episode before last. Uh, I'm not taking that back. Because, I mean, it was the truth. And I'm not going to take the truth back. You know, one thing for sure, two things for certain. Don't ask me because I'll tell you the truth. I don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat shit. There's no reason to. It's never been sugarcoated in my life. And those of you who know me and know my life, <laughs> you know, so I'm not you know, returning the favor per se, but I'm returning the favor, <laughs> you know, it made me, well, I, I, I can't say that it made me who I am today because I made a lot of poor decisions and bad choices, man, and I'm still paying the consequences for it every day, so, but all we can do is live, learn, and not repeat. That's like my life, everyday life. Live, learn, and not repeat. Live, learn, not repeat. You know, if you do something wrong. So, you know, my history and my life has been, if you keep up the old habits, you're bound to repeat bad history. And that's what I would do. I would get in trouble and <laughs> whatever. And then I'd be a good boy. And then when I felt confident enough, I can handle things. That's when I'm off the races. So, I live every day, every day now. I'm not the same person, nowhere near the same person. And I tried telling my roommate that, but I don't think he believes me. I was an animal. For those of you who know me, I was an animal. A pig, and I was just, I didn't care. I was, I wasn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the word that you don't care about anything. You get, Yeah, whoever said that anyways. But anyways, I'll think of it like an hour from now. But anyways, I was that person. I did not care about anything at all. Like, I didn't care about me. So how can I care about you? And then, love. I, had to, I was taking the bus one day. Because I was in, um, I was in a, a place. And I was taking a bus. And... The love of my life walked on the bus. Yeah, so, and uh, I changed. And then, which, you know how we think we're in love? Well, in 2016, I fell in love. And uh, it wasn't on the bus either. <laughs> it was on Facebook. And and just like the first relationship, I made mistakes. And the second, I made mistakes. And I'm tired of repeating bad history. So now, I'm a good guy. I'm nice. I don't care what the situation is. I always try to keep my cool. Um, I don't always though. <laughs> I lose it sometimes But I don't lose it like I used to When I used to lose it I used to go to jail Let's put it that way um, I don't do that no more I just lose it I, you know, I don't hold it in either I just say what I gotta fucking say And I, I'll suffer the consequences If there is any But I'm not the same person as I was Yesteryear um, I don't go around now feeling sorry for myself and then causing chaos. I don't go around pointing fingers at my parents' fault or my upbringing because I had a Jewish rich upbringing. Now look at it. I'm rich. I'm rich in. I'm rich in. Um, 
I'm rich in heart. I'm rich in common sense. I'm rich in understanding. I'm rich and supportive. I'm rich in touch with my, you know, you know, I'm human. Remember what I said about people and humans? People suck. Humans are real. So, um, I mean, I, I, I've got to know myself over these last about four or five years. Um, my roommate, he's a smart guy, man, when it comes to life's theory, we'll say, or the book of life. He's, uh, I'm not saying he's got it down, but I'll tell you what, he makes a lot of sense. If it, he, he, he helped ground me a little bit by talking with me and, you know, not like, I don't know how to explain it, but you're never too old to learn. Let's put it that way. And he taught me a few lessons, valuable lessons in life about family and about friendship. And let me tell you, my roommate, Todd, he only comes around once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. And he's, a, he's the true definition of a friend. I don't think I've ever met, as a matter of fact, I know I've never met anybody of his caliper, of his type. Um, he stand, he's as stand up as they come. He'll help out the total stranger, like the total stranger, stranger. He'll help him out. He won't tell nobody about it, he just does it. I mean, I'd be like, you know, hey, Todd, you didn't tell me. I didn't know I had to. That's, that's, I, that, he'll be like, that was for me to know, nobody else. Who told you? I'm not telling you, who told you? I'm the boy. <laughs> He's a good guy, man. And he does things because he wants to do them because it's the right thing. He doesn't do things because he wants to get a pat on the back. That's one thing he taught me because I was all about that. You know, look at me, look at me, look what I did. He's not like that. You know, he led by example. And I can't say enough nice things about him. Um, if you ever get... I don't know if you ever get the opportunity and and uh, to grace his presence in a sense. I'm not saying he's like a Holy Spirit or a King or anything like that, but he's a genuine person, and it's very few and far between we run into genuine people, man. And he's he's one of them. He's a good guy, man. Solid as they come, and patient. <laughs> Mind I'm patient. And just all around good guy, man. I can't say enough good about him. <laughs> so good, I took his, stole his sandwich. <laughs> Drank his last pop, too. His last pop. <laughs> Boy, you can be mad when you get some pop. <laughs> so it's a chicken bacon. So, but this this show is dedicated to my roommate, Todd. To you, Todd. Your sandwich. <laughs> so, what we're going to do today, we're going to open up Let me show you something. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. When I show you this, this, this is nowhere near scratching the surface of my cards. I don't have them all over. I got them actually nice and near. I just got a couple here. Because these are going, I think Brandon from Brandon's cards, sports cards, wants these. Brandon's cards wants these. And maybe one of these or two of these. I'm not sure yet. But I mean, like, I mean... That's not even, that's not even, <laughs> look, <laughs> it's not even scratching the surface, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and then, we come over here, and, man, I fucked up, <clears throat> I accidentally shut the video off, so this is going to be a two-parter, and then it's over here, down there, and then we come way over here, we down there, there, all through down in here, right here, so yeah, I have a few. Just a few. Let's see what Kingston's doing. Mr. Kingston! Oh, you like his fireplace? Look. We got him a fireplace. <laughs> He's living better than me, man. <laughs> There's Kingston! Say hi, Kingston! Well, you wanna go outside? You wanna go potty? You gotta go potty? Come on, let's go potty. Come on. So, you know, my girlfriend used to ask, used to tell me that in public. You gotta go potty, you gotta go, yeah, but don't say that, shut up. So, um, hang on, let me take him out. 
as you can see, our house. <laughs> this is the house. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Here's the porch. There we go. See our porch. Nice porch. Come on. And here is my touch. The chandelier. We got a chandelier. Out here. <laughs> that was my idea. Well, most of the. Well, no, I can't say most of the house is my idea, but. Um, Todd's got really bizarre tastes, so <laughs> a lot of the really, really bizarro stuff I, that you see, ideas and stuff, is him. It's just like, I go as far as a chandelier. Look at him. Look at him. What are you doing? You, know, you, gotta, you gotta take a Duke. You gotta take a John Wayne. So well, I'm not gonna show you that, because <laughs> I don't wanna look at it either, because I got a sandwich to eat. So, but anyways, uh, I got a... I know that we're supposed to be talking about cards and stuff like that. I want to open these up, but why well, have you on the line here? Maybe a couple of you can, um, you know, help me out. Yeah, it's hard to explain. Uh, 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 um, my ex, Aaron, you know, uh, hi, Aaron, if you're watching this. I'm just stuck, you know, I don't know. I don't know, you're reaching out to me and you're saying the things you are, you know, like, you know, well, people, let me ask you a question. I see, I don't want to get out. What are you doing, man? You going potty or you coming in? Oh, look at Todd's windmill. <laughs> Here's what Todd does, look. See all this nice girly, well, I'm not gonna say girly stuff because I like it too, but look, see how my roommate decorates? See that? Yeah, we got security, motherfuckers. <laughs> but that's, see how nice it is, you know? So anyways, well, I'm not going to get into it. Never mind. I mean, it's nobody's business, and uh, I don't think she'd appreciate it if I brought it up anyways. But hi, Aaron. Oh, here's you. See? <laughs> That's our little guy. When I go to bed, he runs around the house. Um, I locked the door yet. All right. What do you want? See that? Ouch. This is our home. This is going upstairs. Hang on here. All right. All right, come on. And then down in the kitchen. This, here's the upstairs. That's where Todd is. See, I'm in heaven. He's in up in hell. <laughs> so come down. What do you want, King? You got water. You got food. All right, so anyways, let's get let's get on with the opening of the cards. Enough of me and my personal life. I shouldn't be doing that. That's unfair to you guys. Like, you guys got enough on your own plate. Play, plot. So, but uh, I got to have some of this. Oh, that's so good, this chicken bacon. All right. What? One bite? Nope. Um. Now. Um. There's um. What did I do with that? Now, there's some Hall of Famers I want. I gotta make sure I don't open it. Because I think. Brandon, if you're watching this, Brandon, I hope you want those. Okay, uh, yeah, it's the top, it's over here. But anyways, we're gonna open up, um, we're gonna open up uh, this Ken Griffey one. Cause I wanna see what's underneath Ken. It'd be good. What are you doing, gang? What's up, buddy? See, with him, I just went out and got him his favorite canned dog food. I'm eating. This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. Thank you. Can I eat? Well, anyways, I went out there. <laughs> I just had to show you that. He only comes around with food. But I went out and got his favorite. It's got like real sirloin tips and shit in it, real meat. Well, I give him. You know, some of what, what I had for dinner tonight. And now he doesn't want to touch his food. I went out. I had to go out because he. I, I was running late. I went out. It was about 11.30. And I got him his dinner and all that stuff. And he wouldn't touch it. Now he wants to follow me around like a puppy dog. And he takes his nose and he throws the food all over the place. Boy, I put heat to the ass. I don't like that, man. All right. So, oh, man, I don't drink pop. But I do like crush or orange. We're gonna open this one up here. Um, and if anybody, oh, 
I want to give away, I want to give away refractors. I got some really nice ones, expensive ones. I'm gonna give them away, you know, to pay forward, per se, for all the dumb shit I fucking did. <laughs> like, all right, as you see, I just cut this one open, cut it, split it, the whole nine yards. Now, my roommate wants the Griffey card, so I'm giving him the Griffey card. Because he's going to send it in and have it graded at PSA or Beckett. Oh, no, yeah, Beckett, because PSA is closed. But anyways, you're falling. <laughs> you're falling and you can't get up. Um, so, uh, there you go. Um, all right. Uh, there we go. You're going to slide to the left and slide right now. But anyways, um, he's going to send it to Beckett to have it graded. And uh, uh, this car looks really good. I mean, as far as centering weight, I'll show you. Hang on, man. Yeah, I, I always have problems with the lighting, if you guys know that. Oh, by the way, this is 92. Baseball Kingston, a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I don't know, even know if I said that, man. So, wow, man, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. <laughs> so, I want to say hi to uh, Dave Siegel down there in the Columbus area. And I want to say hi to Dave Mannix up here in the Cleveland area. I want to say, I haven't given any shout outs in a while. So, like I said, shout out to Dave down in Columbus. Shout out to uh, uh, Dave Mannix. Uh, shout out to um, the Gloge Bros who occasionally peek their head in. Marty McGee! See, Marty, I put you first. Marty McGee, Nikki! Um, Don Foos. For 32 plus years, man, you've been nothing but a great friend. You're another one. You're, you're also that uh, caliper person that I spoke about in the beginning of this video. You are a true gentleman and a uh, definition of a true friend. Um, who else? Katie, Lily, and Chris out in the UK. Joy and her boyfriend out there in the Philippines. Jeff out there in uh, Brazil. Um, Ro uh, uh, yeah, uh, what's his name? Araco? Araco? Out in uh, Belgium. I, I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> he Belgians got some fucked up names, man. So, anyways, uh, um, who else? Oh, I want to say hi to Frank in Canada. Hey, Frank in Canada. <laughs> uh, have your mom call me. <laughs> um, my cousins, Missy, uh, uh, Christine, and Tony, and my uncle Tony, and Jen. Um, man, I got such a big list. I think I think I just named the most important pe most important people though right there for me, you know. Oh, Ben Favlina, Steve Carrier. Uh, be <laughs> Steve Carrier's got more diagnostics in his little pinky on appliances than you do in your whole body. His blood pumps appliance. <laughs> so if you ever need uh. A repair on any type of an appliance. Well, I can't say any type of appliance, but for most, you know, uh, refrigerators, ovens, stoves, whatever. Um, he's your man. He's your guy. And Ben Felina, I hope your family's doing good. You and your family are doing good. Uh, but anyways, I always save my daughter for last. At the end of the show. I didn't forget, I didn't forget her. Trust me on that. So anyways, whatever cards would I open up here today... If you see this, you got to leave a comment. You've got to subscribe. got to leave a comment, and I'll send it to you. I don't give a fuck where you're at in the, United, in, in, in the world. Not the United States, but the world. I will send it to you. I've sent them as far as Belgium. So um, it's, not, it's not the issue. The issue is subscribing. And I don't ask you to hit that like button. Ah, fuck all that, man. There's a hate tank button down there, too, man. <laughs> to just hit that motherfucker, man. So I don't care which... I'm not all about, well, I am, the allo, you know, the arrhythmics. I'm all about them, man. The 80s, I used to listen to them all the time. Uh, or whatever it's called, the algo rhythm or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I would love to get a bunch of likes. But I think, you know, if I got a shitty show, you got to tell me. You got a shit, you know, I won't know what to fucking fix. I know, the dreads are coming in. <laughs> I won't know what to fix if you don't tell me. So anyways, you got to subscribe. If I drop this fucking card one more time. <laughs> See, I got mad. Uh, <laughs> Um, but whatever card you see, except for the Griffey card, it's my roommate's, but it's yours, because I'm going to open up this and probably another one. So just ask. Um, you know, two, two cards per person. I don't give a shit. And if, fuck, if you can have all of them, I care, man. Uh, 
even if I don't have it. I'm not greedy like that. So, I'm gonna have another bite of this, and you're like, God damn, dude, man, you've been fucking how long now, man? <laughs> Just japping that jaw. Yeah. Yeah. Get mayonnaise and all kinds of shit. Oh, yeah, it's wagging like the floor. Good job. <laughs> Alright, here we go. About time, motherfucker. As you know, Ken Griffey was on the top. Now, I don't like touching the fronts of the cards. Look how pretty that card is, man. I mean, that's like, look at the centering. Well, I guess, yeah, you know what? It is off. I just noticed it when I looked at it like this. It is off. I don't care, man. It's still a pretty card, man. That is a pretty card. And it's crisp. Look how straight it is. Fucker's crispy, man. The edge looks a little rough. Man, it's not, though. Yeah. Look at this pretty back. Look at that. That's just so pretty. Don't you hate people suck their teeth? <laughs> Alright, no, you don't? Okay. Terry Maholland. Now, if you see one, two, three, even three cards you like, just let me know, man. They're yours. Now, this is a Don Ross um, 90, 91 set, the green set. I've got, I've got, I think I've got all of them. I've got all the sets. Score, Don Ross, Tops. Old Bowman's. Eric, oh, and I just spit food. Uh, Eric Hansen. All right. Craig Wilson. Ooh, good good card coming up next. Except for he's a Yankee. Ugh. Ugh. I just feel like I ate a mouthful of sewage when I say that word, the Y word. But it's a, he's a great player, man. Why are you people calling it? Ding dong heads. Dave, they just don't listen. They don't take directions. They don't take direction. Roberto Kelly. Crazy. Zane Smith. Alan Anderson. Oh, my favorite player when I was growing up. Lenny Dykstra. Len Dykstra. This guy's a monster. When you play, man, this guy just... He can steal a base on you, too. Don't let him fool you, man. Daryl Hamilton. This guy... <laughs> this guy looks like a robot, man. <laughs> we all remember Wally Whithurst. Whitehurst. Look at him, man. He looks like that guy from Star Trek, the new Star Trek. <laughs> you know that white, that real peaked guy? Don't he, man? He looks fake. Wally, you look fake. And pretty. <laughs> sure you're not a blow-up doll? <laughs> All right, Jeff Montgomery. Jerry Goff. Which way did he go, George? <laughs> I'm waiting outside my front door with a bat. Rookie, uh, rated rookie, Steve Carter. He looking like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean I'm a rookie? <laughs> Not even some pros. All right, uh, Steve Searcy. Hmm, that hurt. And last but not least, Jose Gonzalez. Now remember, I don't care how, you know, I really don't even care how many you ask for. Just make sure you comment and subscribe in a puzzle priest. Priest. Who we got? Oh, yeah, we got time. Okay, let me set this room. Let me sleeve this motherfucker up real quick. All right, set that there. I'll set these to the side for all you chumps out there. Ah, uh, let me cut this side open now. There you go. 
I love the hanger packs, man. They should bring them back just like this. I haven't seen them. If they do have them, I haven't seen them up here in Cleveland. If they're in Cle Cleveland, where? Because I ain't seen them nowhere. I, I want to get cards from Dollar Tree and Walgreens so bad. But every time I go, and the people who are getting them don't even know what the fuck they're doing with them. They don't. They're just getting them because they're going to try and sell them like immediately. And, not, you know, which you're supposed to flip a card, but have it. Don't destroy the integrity of the fucking hobby. Cause that's what you're doing. It's like fucking scalping tickets. Same thing, man. They they, they they destroy the integrity of the show and you know the excitement and the build up and the whole you know going to it and the the, the, uh, the whole storyline that goes with going to a show. And they want to you know they kill it and then they raise prices. You know so you guys are fucked up, man. <laughs> Seriously. So uh, Greg Smith. Carlos Quintana. See, I could do my Puerto Rican shit. Um, Charlie LeBron. Ooh, nice one. Coming up. Kurt Schilling. He was with the Orioles. Look at that. He's a Hall of Famer. Well, he missed it, actually, last year. He missed it by, like, a half a fucking vote. You need 75% of the vote to go in. And he had like 74.6. And they wouldn't let him slide. Roger Clemens. Anger. This is a beautiful card right there. Yeah, it could be yours. All you gotta do is ask. This is a nice card. You send this in, it'd be graded. Probably be about three, 400. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. Let me show you that again. That is a beautiful card. Look at that. Look how crispy it is. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I might give that one to my roommate as a present. Checklist. Always keep your checklist. I know that, you know, it, 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 it completes the set. A set's not complete unless you have the checklist. The set itself, the set checklist card itself has a number on it. See? Checklist. Card number 500. If you don't have card number 500, you don't have a complete set. So for all you uh, brainiacs out there, and you know who I'm talking about, you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know, I got a couple buddies of mine, they throw their checklists away. I keep, don't do that. Well, you could have it if you want it. I'll take it, yeah. You'll wind up asking me for it back, and they usually do. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave Stive. Mike Hartley. Brian Holman. It's a lot of pretty motherfuckers back in <laughs> You look too pretty to be in baseball, man. Scott Sanderson. Eric Gunderson. Got a good one right here coming. Tony Fernandez. Got even a, got a Hall of Famer right here. Rick Ruschel. Gary Pettis. Mark Parent. He's like, come on. <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> He's in touch with his femme side. Nothing that there's wrong with it, because I get in touch with my femme side when I'm cleaning the house. You know? I throw on a little cold play. <laughs> you know? Cool. A little Barry Manilow or something. <laughs> so I'm doing the dishes in my um, chapless assless chaps <laughs> what the fuck am I what am I looking for oh here we go so um here we go last but not least the other last third yeah, we're doing okay time Jose de, de, de Jesus Tamins ends tomato tomato Bob Ojada. Oh, got an MVP. Nice MVP here. A thin. <laughs> and I say that. <laughs> I just say that. He's... So anyways, he might be a <laughs> with my ass. Not that I'll see him or anything, but just in case. Yeah, I'm tired a little bit. It's only um. 
Yeah. Ten after four in the morning. Who's this guy? His face looks like a vagina. <laughs> looks like a terrorist. Brian, oh, my, Brian McRae. Played for Kansas City. I remember old Brian. Kevin Gross. John Shelby. Oh, great pitcher right here. Hall of Famer. Ramon Martinez. Oh, beautiful all-star card. Holy shit. Andre Dawson. Well, look at this, man. Man, look at that. That's a pretty card, man. Don Ross makes some pretty cards, man. I don't care. You know, I love Bowman. I love my Paninis. Don't get me wrong. But these cards right here, especially, they're beautiful, man. I mean, just the green and the red. Just... Look at the crisp corners and I mean it's just they're so nice man and just they're clean. Oh Jeff Manto. Hey, I got him on the front of this one. Hey, got doubles. Um Oh, Craig, Craig Biggio. Oh, let's go. Let me show you Manto. Craig Biggio. Sean Hilgra Hilgas. Oh! Paul Neal. He's part of that terror squad that railroaded everybody in the fucking 90s. And I ain't gonna say their name because I don't want a shit taste in my mouth. Yeah, I don't like them. I like them as people. I don't like them as a team. Outside the fucking stadium, they're great guys. I mean, I've watched them in interviews and I've seen, you know, talking with the families, go, you know, the house and shit like they do interviews and shit. Great people, great guys. They get them fucking pinstripes on. They're enemy, enemy number one for me. I just don't like them. I just don't like them. Chili Davis, last card. Oh, last card's a puzzle piece. So there you have it. So if any of you see any of these cards out that you liked, um, ask for it, yours. Now, I'm going to be giving away... I was going to give away all 25 refractors at once, but I feel that'd be unfair. So I'm giving away... Five to five refractors, my choice, dealer's choice, to the first five people that comment. I don't know. <laughs> comment anything. I don't give a shit. But the first five people to comment at all, make sure you. Um, I'll give you my. Um, I'll give you my email, or you have to give me your email and so on and so forth, and we'll work it out from there. But the first five people to comment anything, you can tell me to go. I don't know. Go fucking suck a mother. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Just comment. It shows me you care. It shows me you took time enough to watch my show. So you knew what to do. So with that being said, Maddie, to my daughter, I love you with every ounce of love a father can love his child, his daughter. You're bigger than life itself for me. And I think about you every day. Oh, you know, all the time. You're always there. And I miss you a lot. And um, you have one of these. Use it. Because you can outwit the best that you can. And uh, be good for your mom, okay? She works hard. Tell her she did a phenomenal job. Tell her for me too. So, be good. Stay out of the way. This is going to get real stupid this, this coming here soon with this... COVID and then the, they're gonna it's gonna get it's, the government our government is um, they screwed up and uh, they're gonna anger a lot of people here soon when they take all this money away and uh, they already did it in Montana already said in Montana that they're gonna take um, the PUC uh, FPUC away FPUA I'm sorry FPUA away or P, whatever it is uh, they're going to take that away. The Republican state. So they're saying that, um, word has it that they're saying, which Ohio is a Republican state, or are we a Democratic state? I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm neither nor. So I don't know, you know, I don't get involved with politics. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't partake in it at all. But anyways, regardless, they're going to be taking away and they overruled the uh, moratorium. A federal court overruled that it was unlawful to 
um, to, to uh, hold the landlords, tell the landlords they can't get paid and the banks that can't get paid and all that stuff. So they reversed that decision. Well, it's going to get bad. And then they got these five strands. And I guarantee you if there's five strands, there's what? Right, there's six or seven. So, Maddie, please, just be careful. Watch yourself because it's going to get stupid this summer. I'm, I, I'm telling you, mark my word. Everybody's going to think it's all going away. It's all better now. And bam, you're going to be flabbergasted what you see happen. It's, it's going to probably be the worst ever. So, I don't know. I just see a disaster coming. And I love you with all my heart. And say hi to your mom for me, okay? And uh, with that being said, Double up. <laughs> You're never gonna get that one. But have a bite of the sandwich? Sure. You wanna bite, Maddie? You can have a bite. You can have a bite. Maddie can have my dog can have a bite. You other mofos can't. I said so. Um, <laughs> you know that falling down and broken my hip shit? That's for real with people. Senior citizens. Please, if you have a senior citizen in your area and you are you like them and you talk to them, go check on them if you don't see them for a while, okay? It's the right thing to do. And if you don't like them, Go check on them. It's the right thing to do. Get outside yourself. You'll be helping you more than uh, you'll be helping them. Um, that's someone's mom, that's someone's dad, that's someone's aunt, uncle, brother, sister, whoever. You'd want somebody to do that for your family, okay? So just check on them. Make sure they're all right. We, whatever the reason is, doesn't matter. Just make sure they're okay. They may get like, hey, get away from my house. It's okay. You know they're okay. Okay? You flip them off while you're walking away or whatever the hell is as long as you check on them. Um, also, the three keeps with uh, the pet that you call part of your family. Okay? Uh, keep, uh, keep them hydrated, keep them fed, and keep your eyes on them. Okay? If you love them like family, treat them like family. Okay? This one eats and lives and like a, better than most people. Uh... I mean, <laughs> follows me. You look, you got a fireplace. <laughs> a blue crystal fireplace at that. My roommate got it for him. You know, he's got to have it. He's, he's, he's a pimp, man. So, but uh, he lives good because we love him. He's family to me. And he's family to Todd. And um, sometimes it just feels like he's my only family. So I, I, I take care, really good care of him. So does Todd. We, t we take very good care of him. And uh, we pamper him. He's had a rough life himself. You know, they was, he was supposed to be euthanized a couple times and he escaped. <laughs> he did, he escaped. And, uh, but there's a reason that, there's a reason why something bigger than him or me or anybody allowed him to escape. Because he was supposed to come into my life and Todd's life. And he changed my life a little too, just like Todd did. So I got two of my best friends here. We'll say. Um, if you love them like family, treat them like family. They didn't pick you, you picked them. So take the time to love them, feed them, play with them. Don't let them, don't let the novelty of what you call part of the family wear off. And all of a sudden now they're just your dog. Or they're just your pet. Not even pet, but there's just, you know, that's a... Uh, the novelty wears off. If it wears off, it's time to um, let someone have the animal who will love it and take care of it. And, uh, it's, they're very simple. They're very loyal. Dogs are very loyal animals. All you gotta do is feed them, let them out, pet them, tell them you love them. So... Kingston, we, uh, <laughs> he's royalty around here. So I know I'm dragging on. I'm dragging on. Oh, shit, 30 minutes. <laughs> what the fuck, man? So anyways, 
Um, and last but not least, uh, I always joke around with my dude Dave down in Columbus about his 14,000 kids, stuff like that. He doesn't have 14,000 kids. I do believe he's only got one son. And, and from my gather, he's probably a hell of a gentleman. He's probably an athlete, a boxer. He's probably a boxer or MMA or a uh, 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 belterweight or something like that. So, um, but watch your kids. It's going to get stupid this summer, you guys and girls and ladies. I don't care how old they are. They're always going to be our little girl, little boys. It's just that, it's just that simple. And uh, just keep an eye on your kids, man. They're your legacy, okay? So with that being said, I just want to say one last thing to someone. Hey, Aaron. Call me. I would like to talk to you. It'd be nice. It'd be really nice. So with that being said, people, thank you for the love and support. Peace. As desperate as you are. I'm not desperate. Oh! Yeah.